This is my 1985 Inca 550. It's a 10 and a half inch joiner. Bed's maybe four feet long, which is pretty nice. Um, this model does not, this is not the 570, this is the 550. It has the standard uh, straight blades, two blade cutter head. I've got two extra sets of blades. It's got a two horsepower GE motor. I think it was retrofitted after the fact. Um, still has a fence, which is nice. Um, so what I've actually done to this machine is I've upgraded the drive. Normally there'd be a, a drive feed. Oh yeah, I suppose I should. So this is for the, the this is the planer. I take that off. Try to do this without dropping. So mine is missing a couple teeth from the previous owner, but um, that's okay. So you take the blade off, or the, the table off. Let me set it down over here. And now you've got a thickness planer underneath. There's a there's a cover for it that guards the blade, which is nice. But, um, but there's one fault with these machines. They're really great machines. They used to be sold by Garrett Wade, I think, back in the 80s and 90s. So normally this all would be driven off the motor. Sorry for my bad camera work here. Um, let me move that up so you can kind of see. So normally you've got your drive belt here for the, the cutter head. Um, but there would have also been a, a worm gear that comes up here and that's the end of the, the gear selector. Um, and so that's driven by, uh, traditionally there was a Ron belt, but there was a flat belt kit. This joiner did have the flat belt upgrade kit. Um, but what happens is, let me grab some parts here. So the motor, the belt would spin this, um, and there's needle bearings because it's spinning quite fast. Um, and that would mesh with either one of these two gears. Uh, the problem is that if this is nylon, it was considered a sacrificial part. Um, you can see the chain sprocket there at the back, but, um, if they dry out or if you work it too hard, these tend to melt and you can kind of see the, this smaller gear melted on mine. This is like a $140 part. Um, and I didn't want to have to pay that multiple times if I melted it. So I spent probably about $170 total for this project. And what I did was I routed this hole and extended the chain and added a drive down below. Now you can see my I have um, on off and speed control there. I'll show you in a second. But if I take a look up underneath, there's a NEMA 23. Um, it's about the largest one you can buy. You can buy them for about $30, not including controller. Um, then there's a 10, um, 10 tooth sprocket. Um, about a $30 controller there, and a $40, 48-volt DC power supply. Um, I added this outlet because sometimes I like to move this thing outside because it makes quite a bit of shavings. So I like to move it outside, and when I do that, I take the motor off. It makes it easier for my wife to help me because um, it is quite heavy. So um, by adding a an outlet and not hardwiring the motor in it makes it easier for me to take that motor off. Um, so plug it in here. Okay, so it's plugged in. That motor is on its own switch still. Um, I did that because sometimes you just want to joint. Um, so if I flip this, motor kicks in. Now I've got it variable from, um, I, I did quite a bit of calculation. This is five feet per minute feed rate. And if I go all the way up to the fastest is 20 feet per minute. Um, the stock speeds are uh, 11 and a half and 16. Um, so, um, and I have tested this. Um, I mean, I hogged out 
a good amount of material at 20 feet per minute without this motor stalling. And this motor is actually, let me stop there so you can hear me. So this motor is rated for 4.2 amps peak and uh, three amps RMS um, from the controller. And the controller is capable of that. Um, that would be at the high setting. But I've actually got this set currently. Let me look at this table here. Um, I've got it set for uh, 2.36 amps RMS and 3.3 amps peak. Um, and it does not even seem like it's close to stalling out or skipping steps. Um, some people might be concerned about the the stepper, you know, having noticeable steps. Right now it's running at 400 steps per revolution. Um, it's really not noticeable. It's very smooth. Um, so yeah, that's my... Uh, I do need to adjust the... I need to adjust the table so that it doesn't honk at me like that but yeah it's a great little machine and uh now it should be even better with the uh the upgrade um i do still have it capable um, i've seen other people modify this and cut out and put the motor on top here you know they use gear motors which are like 300 dollars um, so this one you don't even have to modify anything except the table and add some links to the chain. Um, I do need to, I'll probably 3D print a filler to fill that in nicely so it doesn't look shoddy. Um, but yeah, that's my, that's my modification. It seems to be pretty good. Um, yeah.